I do have Lyme's disease and mm -hmm. it seems that I still have it. You know, it's, it's not something that's gone away because since I've gotten it, gotten bit a few years ago, maybe four years ago now, you know, I've gotten bit multiple times every year. So mm -hmm. whatever I, I've done in the initial stages to, to try to combat it has come back again and again and again. So, you know, most people that, that I talk to just get one bite and, mm -hmm. That they know of, and then and that's it. And they go through the typical or the, the standard process to you know get it checked. You know, you you go to the doctor, you go to the urgent care, mm -hmm. whichever one it is. They, you know, they run certain tests and you get certain medications. It's that they normally give you. an antibiotic, isn't it? Yeah, typically like doxycycline or mm -hmm. something like that. And and that's what I did too. You know, I went. And in my case, it was very obvious that I had it. I, pretty sure because you know most people think Lyme disease bullseye rash mm -hmm. right have you heard of that oh yeah yeah and that's that's what I had I had it right in my navel area uh -huh. and it just grew and I knew like okay I started having flu-like symptoms like kind of a fever and a headache but it wasn't the flu like it didn't feel like anything I ever had before and then that combined with the bullseye. How big did the bullseye get? Like fist size or? It grows. Yeah, for me, yeah. it grew. So it started small and it, it was kind of a burning, itching. Mm -hmm. And it just grew all the way up my chest, you know, as big as it, as it could get. 